1.4 now and 1.4 is just rewriting equations um, and solving for different variables which is what you're going to have to do um, down the line here so I want to make sure you guys are getting this all correct um, with this one it's saying solve for t what that means is I want you to get t all by itself well let me rewrite this for you it's like saying 2 times s squared times t right it's all multiplication since that's all multiplication, to get t all by itself, what's the opposite of multiplication? Division, right? They're the opposites. So what that means is, I want to get rid of everything but t. So since it's all multiplication, to get rid of the 2, I would divide by 2. To get rid of the s squared, I would divide by an s squared onto both sides. So by doing that, that's gone. That's gone, leaving t by itself. So our final answer is t equals k over 2s squared. Over here, get y by itself. Same idea. It's like saying r equals 7 times x squared times y. So the opposite of multiplication is division. And if I want to get y by itself, I need to get rid of the 7 and the x squared. So I end up getting r over 7x squared, and that equals y. To solve for b, same concept. So I'll just do this one. It's 3 times a squared times b equals l. I'm trying to get b by itself, so because it's all multiplication, let's divide them onto both sides here. So you get b equals l over 3a squared. Same thing over here. 8 times c squared times d equals k. So solve for d. I would divide both sides by 8 and c squared because I'm trying to get d by itself. So you get d equals k over 8c squared. All right, solving for w now. Okay, um, first of all, let's get all the same variables on the same side. So since this is minus w, let's add a w to both sides. And the reason I'm saying that is this way, I will have all of the w's on the same side. And that's a 1w. Uh, so it's 7w. Then I minus u on both sides for u minus a u that's negative 5 u equals 7 w so to get w all by itself since it's 7 times w I divide by 7 on both sides so w equals negative 5 u over 7 same concept over here to get w's by itself I'm going to show you can do it another way here um, what if I added 5 y to this side doesn't matter which way you go, as long as you get all the w's on the same side, right? So I have 7u, that's a 4w, and that's a u. Minus 7u, minus 7u, so I end up getting 4w equals um, negative 6u, and to get w by itself, I would divide by 4, so I would get w equals negative 6u over 4, which I can simplify that because I can take a 2 out of both those to get w equals negative 3u over 2. Solving for a now, um, because those are in parentheses, we need to get rid of that fraction out in front, and because it's multiplication by a fraction, remember, you multiply both sides by the reciprocal, right? So I have to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So I end up getting 7 over 5b equals, and those cancel out. So all you have left is a minus 9. So to get a by itself, I add 9 to both sides. So I get 7 over 5b plus 9 equals a. 
same idea down here to get a by itself this is multiplication even though it's a fraction so I multiply by the reciprocal on both sides so we end up getting 8 over 5 B equals those cancel out a minus 12 so it's addition because I have to get 12 by itself so 8 over 5 B plus 12 equals A and there's your answer for that one um, over here to get Q by itself okay this is a little trickier to see but both items both items have a Q in them. Right? So since both items have a Q, I can take a Q out of both of them. So if I pull Q out of them, all I have left is a P squared and a minus 3. And that equals 14. So I pull a Q out of both of them. Right? Look, think of it out backwards like the distributive property. That's basically what this is. It's the distributive property backwards. Q times P squared is P squared Q. Q times negative 3 is negative 3 Q. So it's Q times all of this. So to get Q by itself, I need to divide by all of that just to get Q by itself because now all that cancels out. So I get Q equals 14 over P squared minus 3. So it's the same idea down here. They both have a Z. So if I take out the Z, I get Y squared plus 7. In that equals Y since it's times 7, or sorry, Z times all of that. I can divide both sides by Y squared plus 7. Because now there will be gone. So I'll get Z equals y over y squared plus 7. So all for f, this is a famous one here for you. Our final one, this is like the fraction ones we did. Um, this is the formula for changing uh, degrees from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So 5 over 9, I multiply by 9 over 5 on both sides. I guarantee you, anyone who's watching this, this is a famous one that you will see on almost every single test that you ever get on this stuff. So remember this one. So you end up with F minus 32. So you get F by itself, you add 32 to both sides. So that's gone. You end up getting F equals 9 over 5C plus 32. And this one, uh, solve for A. I guess this is a trick question. A is already by itself, so it's done. <laughs> so, I guess it's just a uh, fool you, but it's already done. A is already alone, so since A is already alone, that's it. If you have any further questions or concerns, please feel free to let me know.